All right, for those of you who don't know, ACG is most definitely my jam. I love the ACG line, I love the aesthetic, and I've been wearing the Mountain Fly Gore-Texes basically every day now for the last 20 odd days, and I'm definitely gonna do a like 30 day review on those Mountain Flies. They are, um, early review, they're amazing. So today we're talking about an ACG sneaker that has been reissued and I have been trying to get my hands on a colorway. I don't care what the colorway is, I just wanted to get my hands on one. And of course, I have been taking all of the L's. But alas, I finally took the W on a pair in my wife's size. Today we are talking about the Nike ACG Air Moab. I love these shoes. They're so dope. But before we get into it, let's first take a closer look. Alright guys, welcome back, and now that you've seen a closer look of these bad boys right here, welcome. If you are new here, consider joining the fam. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers, and I want you guys to be a part of it. Your likes, comments, subscription, engagement, all that is what makes this sneaker channel great. It's not me, it's you, and I appreciate each and every last one of you. Also, helpful links down in the description below, protective shoe spray and cleaning kits to keep your kicks clean, my favorite sneaker books, as well as links to cop these bad boys if there are some available. I will have the eBay search link, click on it, it brings them up. You can pick the colorway and the size of your choice, because retail links are going to be very hard to come by in these right here. Now, like I said, these I got in my wife's size. I took the L on my size, and my wife just gave birth to our second child, so she is in no mood to be giving me on foot. So apologies in advance, but I'm not about to make her do something extra like that after she just gave me one of the greatest gifts in my entire life. Now, this is the Nike Air Moab. Some of you might be aware of this because this is an older sneaker. They have just been reissued in a ton of dope colorways as ACG kind of makes what I think is a really nice resurgence. But even if you weren't aware of this sneaker model, just by looking at it, if you are a sneakerhead, you're probably recognizing elements of other iconic Nike shoes, maybe even some Jordans. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty obvious, but we're gonna go through it. I'm gonna do a history and really more in-depth video of this shoe at a later date. So we're not gonna go into all the details. I'm just gonna talk about today my just thoughts and feelings about the shoe in general in this specific release. So the Air Moab is ACG. We know that's all conditions gear. So what you're going to get here is a hardier type of shoe, performance shoe, and it's definitely not like a basketball shoe per se. This really is more purpose built for something like hiking, though I cannot confirm if it's going to be a fantastic hiking shoe and worth the price point. Maybe we'll get into that later once I get my hands on my own pair and actually take it out a couple times. But this one, what I love love about it is of course the nods to all of these classic iconic Nike models. The first thing to me what is the most obvious is the way that this is kind of cut and the new buck they're using here with this with the canvas and everything. To me this says Jordan 6. Not precisely but I think of the Jordan 6 when I look at this part of the shoe here. And then something that you may not have noticed at the top of the tongue here it says Air Hoache. That is one of the most iconic Nike shoes as well but the DNA of that sneaker has been woven into so many other Nike releases, this is also one of them. The inspiration, of course, from that sneaker, you can see going around the heel counter here to the middle of the, the upper. Right here, you can see it there. That's definitely Air Hirache uh, of elements right there. It doesn't have the detached inner neoprene sock quite like that sneaker, but you do get some neoprene here at the ankle. It's got like a nice higher, maybe I guess this would be a mid-cut type. Because it is connected here and not detached, I think you're getting more waterproofing, more weatherproofing, and that's really what you need if you're buying an ACG product. That's what you are buying the ACG products for, more weatherproof, hardier products. So it'd be kind of counterintuitive if they left it detached, which would allow moisture and, and water to get in. Of course, the outsole has more of a hiking feel to it than say a basketball feel to it, but this knobbier tread in the middle than these, these beefier black pieces jetting out here, and of course along the heel there, and of course the Air Moab branding on the bottom is pretty dope as well. And to me, for the most part, that is where the kind of outdoorsy hiking aesthetic begins and ends with this sneaker because when you look at it from the top, it definitely has a basketball shoe aesthetic. Again, the Jordan 6s, like I said, and then the Air Horaches along the back here. And that's kind of the appeal though. I think that is what made this shoe such a broader appeal when it dropped and why it's so popular now on the re-release. There's a lot of people who are not like big into the ACG, Arcturix, you know, and Wander type of aesthetic, but they like Air Moabs because they are reminiscent of classic 90s basketball 
culture, right? And maybe a little Jordan brand aesthetic as well. I think that's what the appeal is with these shoes. And I also love the minimal branding that it has as well. You only got a little embroidered Nike swoosh here near the toe, and then you've got the embroidered ACG on the back, and then a little bit of classic Nike Air with this nice raised rubber letters here. Of course, it's not like Jordan 4 Nike Air, but it does look pretty dope. I really like the way that this all came together. And there are so many other dope colorways that have dropped with these as well. This is considered the dark olive. There's a rattan birch one that looks super dope as well. And know that I've tried to get my hands on all of them and I have graciously took the L's. So the resale is gonna be a little bit inflated, but I don't feel like this is a sneaker that you are grossly overpaying for. And so guys, that does it for me on this video of the Nike Air Moab in this dark olive colorway. Let me know what you think about these down in the comments below. And of course, if you are new here, consider joining the fam. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers and I want you guys to be a part of it. Your likes, comments, subscription, engagement, all of that is what makes a sneaker channel great. It's not me, it's you. And I appreciate each and every last one of you. Also check out my helpful links down in the description below, protective shoe spray and cleaning kits to keep your kicks clean, my favorite sneaker books, as well as links to cop if I can find them. I will have the eBay link for you to get these right here. Authenticity is guaranteed, so you can cop knowing you're getting a legit pair. And with all that being said, hope you have a good day, good evening, good night, whenever you're watching this, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.